This video will introduce you to the variables in the acceleration equation. The equation involves three variables, velocity, time, and acceleration. Velocity is the speed of an object with an indicated direction. We represent this with the symbol delta v, which means change in velocity. Common units would be meters per second, or kilometers per hour, since we are dealing with the same units as speed. Change in time is the second variable. We use delta t to show this, and common units for change in time could be milliseconds, seconds, and hours. The last variable is acceleration which we define as the rate of change in speed or velocity of an object. The symbol for acceleration is a lowercase a, and the most common units used are meters per second squared or kilometers per hour squared. Now you can see the triangle we use to represent the acceleration equation. Change in velocity is on top, acceleration and change in time are on the bottom. Let's rearrange for delta v, delta t, and acceleration. I'm going to slide my triangle over there, and we're going to bring back the gorilla. We're going to look for change in velocity first, so you're going to place your hand over the variable that you're looking for, or in my example, I'm going to place the gorilla over change in velocity and write the equation that I see. Delta v equals acceleration times the change in time as they're beside each other. Next what we're going to do is we're going to look for the change in time. We're going to place our hand or the gorilla or the variable we're looking for. That will give us delta t equals delta v over a. And the last variable we're going to look for is acceleration. Let's place the gorilla over the variable we're looking for, so we can rewrite A equals delta V over delta T.